Hello everyone, my name is the Kid 2003 and uh, today we are kind of doing a double review. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new stadium for Beyblade Burst Turbo, the Rail Rush Battle Set, and also this Black Launcher. Both of these I got for Christmas and uh, <coughs> as I mentioned in my last video, my dad and his infinite creativity ended up hiding the launcher grip not included, in the stadium, so that's why it's already opened. Anywho, just like all of the stadiums that I've taken a look at, there's the QR code if you want and or need it. Anyways, there are a few other places that should be known about. This is kind of uh, where a base will start off. Like that, this is the actual arena portion itself. These are the rails, which is how, this is kind of the core gimmick of this brand new line. These things are called speed cradles. Not entirely sure what they do, but they're little indents that do something. Anyways, just like in the, uh, Starstorm Battle Set, it comes with two Faes, Z Achilles, and Wonder Valtriac. Two of the brand new launchers, which look interesting. I mean, I can use both rotations, so I guess that's alright. So, warning, it, even though this looks like it has metal, if you look really closely, if the camera is willing to be my friend. Oop. There's actually like a little scrape right there, so that means that this is not metal. I know what y'all are probably really mad and saying, hey, Takotomi made these with metal, why didn't Hasbro? This is why, <laughs> because of the brand new gimmick. Sorry, I'm gonna have to like, kind of perch this on my knee or something. There we go, because I only have two hands. So this is uh, Extend S. The S is kind of like the, the slingshot bit. So, uh, for this, for extend, these little tabs you just pull up, twist, let go. And in my opinion, that is a drastic change in height. Anyways, of course, that's the, the Achilles layer. It looks really cool. Four contact points. Now, these little, the diamond bit, and then these two little indents right here, that's for something called a level chip. Hasbro hasn't released them, to my knowledge, just yet. Hopefully they will, but you can 3D print them, they'll end up working just the same. This is the disc, known as 11. You can tell because there's a little 11 there if it's willing to focus. There we go. I'm holding it upside down. There we go. 11. Interesting looking, and then I already showed you extend, so should put this together right. It slides easily, but not as easily as Neptune's M1, which is like the weakest bet in existence. Under Valtry React, same thing, whole compatibility with the level chip. Isn't made of metal. I actually really like how Hasbro did this layer. It seems like they're trying to be as accurate to the show as possible. The disc is 12. It's evidenced by the little 12 right there. This looks dangerous. I'm saying it here and now. 
This looks like this can like actually cut someone. Oh yeah, right. Got QR code for Wonder Valtriac. Pause the video to snag that. And then code for Achilles. Finally, we have the driver, Volcanic S. So uh, initially it's like free spinning, but you can change the tip. I mean, it's actually kind of hard. You kind of need like fabric or something. But anyways, it ends up looking like this. It ends up rocketing around the rails and all that. So let's put this back together show you guys. The camera fell again. That hasn't happened in a while. Let's make sure it's actually connected properly to my knee. Hopefully my phone didn't crack. Okay, cool, it didn't. Everything's a little blurry. There we are. Gonna have to be a little more careful. And yeah, there it is. Now for the launcher, it's a simple strain launcher. The string is actually decently long, just not too long, so you can't like a hundred percent reenact the stuff from the show. Hilariously, Hasbro Achilles doesn't work properly with this. Trust me, I've tried off camera many times. Here's once again, there's the stadium right there. <coughs> Let's see if I can actually perch this. No, wait. I can somewhat perch this. I think you gotta put your foot in it. Oh, okay, there we are. It's a bit wibbly. A bit wibbly jibbly. Okay, what you gonna do? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that these uh, number of disc, discs, you can put frames, frames on them. That's evidenced by later releases. I don't have to have later releases, so boop. Anyways, here's the Achilles. very well. There we are. So, uh, when it's in it, what it looks like when it's in the show, it's more often than not really calm like this. When you end up putting the driver up, it ends up rocking around the stadium. Not going to be showing that since that's probably going to take away since I'm kind of, this video is approaching like nine, ten minutes. Even though Achilles doesn't work with this launcher, this guy does. And you know what? I'm going to actually show that. Alright, time to purchase on my knee and hopefully this camera doesn't fall again. Okay, cool. Hey, told you so. It works! Eh, here's in frame. Thing is, you have to kind of pull like really fast, otherwise that's gonna end up happening, and it's not gonna spin very long. Oh yeah, the rope cord's the same thing as the slingshot arrow. T I mean, not slingshot, switch strike arrow. So, and of course, there's still that little tab. So that does mean that in later releases, there is going to be a surprise in that can uh, switch between rotations. So you'll end up needing this. It's foreshadowing, just like in the Slingshock era. Foreshadow Bludgeon Surprise and Surprise and Requiem. Anyways, um, in case you guys missed your chance, there's the QR code once again.
There's the truck head. There's the brand new logo. Again. But anyways, that's kind of my kind of chaotic-ish review of the Rail Rush Battle Set. And if you guys watched my Christmas haul part one, you'll know that I got the Wave 1 starters, so I'll be covering those soon. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, liked it. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay awesome.